Hi all. Welcome to EIESB Mule 4, 4 minute videos. In this series we will demonstrate how to use Design Center in building Mule application, flows. Design Center is Mule latest addition to its portfolio. I am very much excited to show you Salesforce query all application development in the Mule 4.0 Design Center. Let's open your browser and open anypoint.mulesoft.com, log in with your credentials. After successful authentication you will be presented with the AnyPoint homepage. This page contains links to Exchange, Design Center, Runtime Manager, API Manager and Partner Manager, Access Management, Data Gateway and MQ. Let's start developing our Salesforce Insert application using Design Center. Click on Design Center, which opens Projects page. Observe no projects are present as we have just created the account. Click on Create button, you can create Mule application or API specification or API fragment. We will choose Mule application. Provide project name and choose target environment, by default design is selected. Observe and left, you will find flows, connectors and modules and data types. New flow is created and by default you will see trigger component. For the first time Mule automatically displays few tips. In every Mule application, flow is initiated or triggered with trigger connector, component. Trigger can be HTTP, scheduler or Salesforce connector. Let us choose HTTP connector as trigger, which displays the property page. Provide path and click on edit if you want to change HTTP configuration. Application will save automatically. Click on plus symbol button to add more component. Now we will add Salesforce connector. It display Salesforce component, select it, different operations are displayed like, create, delete, query, query all, update, upsert and so on. Unlike in previous versions 3.x, Salesforce connector has multiple operations in design center like query all, create, delete and etc. Here we will choose query all operation to get the Salesforce account details. Next page displays Salesforce configuration. Let us set up Salesforce configuration, by clicking on setup link. Provide name for your configuration. Choose connection type to be username password and provide username, password and security token. Click on test button to check the connectivity. You will see success message. And, write the select query in the Salesforce query field. Click on Add Connector and Add Transform message to convert the result dataset into structured JSON format. DataWave have a beauty to create a schema based on provided example data. Now map the input fields to the appropriate output fields which will give as response. That's all we are done with coding. Now let us deploy the application onto Cloud Hub. Click on Deploy. After successful deployment, you will see latest changes deployed. Now see the flow, observe green line, as this flow has been invoked and executed successfully it has marked with green color, if any failure it will mark with red color. To test the application provide the URL on Postman. You will see response message in Postman. Now let's see Runtime Manager, click on more options beside Deploy button and view in Runtime Manager. Now you can observe the live console logs. Click on dashboards and see the Salesforce insert application CPU in memory utilization, 24 hours, last hour. That's all for this video. You will see some other interesting demos in next videos. For any queries please reach us at Mule Design Center at EIESB.com.